Hello, my name is Glenn Goodrich, the creator of PropertyTax.io. The goal of this video is to show a first-time site visitor how to search for a property, when they find that property, how to navigate the property value screen, on that property value screen how to select comparable properties, and finally what will the report that will be emailed to you look like. Let's get started by going to your web browser and typing in www.PropertyTax.io you'll land on this page here and immediately you can search for a property and you'll see a map pop up on the left and a bar chart on the right you'll see that this green bar says that seven comparable properties will help you in the analysis two of them will have no effect and eleven of them, eleven of them will hurt the value what this means is that there is evidence that we have analyzed um, and we've picked out the 20 best comparable properties and that seven of those will help you if they're used in an appeal and 11 of them will hurt you if they're used in an appeal and two of them will have no effect meaning that they will support the uh, already appraised value of 277,000 in this case for this property. You can now view data or you can go directly to sign up. Let's click on view data to explore this information a little bit closer. Right now we're loading the property value screen and you'll see immediately a video will pop up that will be a walkthrough of how to navigate this screen. I'm doing that right now for you so we're going to go ahead and close that. Pay attention to this top left box that's up here. This is where some important information is that will help you make a good decision. First you have your tax appraised value of 277560 for this property. The homestead cap value for this property is 236000 which is lower than the appraised value. That's because in Texas you can only increase a homestead property by a maximum of 10 percent each year. So you have a neighborhood analysis below that which is indicating a value of 288,000. We'll dig into that in just a minute. And then a market value analysis that's indicating a value of 314,000. You'll notice that the default tab that we land on is the neighborhood tab, tab 1. In the property tax industry, this is what's called an equal and uniform analysis. The map right here, you'll see a blue pin in the middle. That's the subject property, which is the property that we are valuing. The subject property information is down here on the left column. You see the address right here. And you'll see shades of gray on the map. That's just the neighborhood that the subject property resides. You'll see that we have seven comparable properties already selected for that property. Um, these are sorted in order of how similar they are to the subject property. So comparable one will be a very similar property to the subject property. You'll see that it's similar in size and similar in your built land value and it doesn't have a pool just like the subject property doesn't have a pool. It's a building class 15 just like the subject property is a building class 15. And you can look at the other comparable properties and see how similar they are as well. If you would like to change the comp selection you can do that by deselecting and selecting your own comparable properties. That will change this value up here as you select new properties to put into the analysis. Once you're happy with your with your comp selection here, you can navigate to the market value screen. If you're not already logged in, you will be prompted to register for an account to access this information. So if this is your first time to visit, you would click register and you'll see all the information right here. Be sure and check that you agree with the terms of service. Since I am already since I already have an account, I'm just going to log into my existing account. Okay, and you'll see Welcome Glenn Goodrich, which uh, indicates that I am now successfully logged in. And I can now click on the market value tab that I was not able to access previously. You'll see that when I click on this tab, the map changes, the, the shades of gray go away and are replaced with pins. These are market comps that have sold over, over the past year. The green marker pins are comps that will help you in a property tax appeal. 
Red marker pins are comps that will hurt you in a property tax appeal, and the yellow ones support the same value that you are currently assessed at. So you'll see that we have three comparable properties selected here that are market comps. Comp 1, Comp 2, and Comp 3. I can see from the map that none of those comparable properties help me if used in an analysis. So I'd like to explore this information a little closer to make sure that there is not some credible evidence that exists out there that I can use to get a reduction. So I'm going to zoom in on the map a little bit and I see that Comp 15 is very close to the subject property and is a green marker pin which means it would help me in a property tax appeal. So I navigate over to Comp 15. I see that it's a building class 15 just like the subject property. It is a little bit larger than the subject property but it's still okay to use. Uh, it has a similar year built to the subject property, does not have a pool, and has the same land value as the subject property. And it's sold in October of 2016, which is relevant for your uh, 2017 property tax appeal because the value is as of January 1st, 2017. So that's a good comp. I'm going to go ahead and select that comp. Okay. I also see the comp 11 is very close to the subject property. I see it here looking down at the stats those all look good so I'm going to select that as well okay and I also see that comp 9 over here is very close to the subject property as well looking at the stats all looks good I select that property and I see that I've brought my analysis down from about 314,000 now down to 286,000 just because I don't have to present information that's going to hurt me in a property tax appeal, I'm going to go ahead and not use the pre-selected comps that were chosen. Even though they are similar and they're good comps to use, um, there's no need to to use those in an appeal. I can only present I only have to present information that's going to help me. When I unselect those properties, I now see that the value drops to 258,000. That is lower than my appraised value right now. So that information looks good and it will help me potentially get a reduction. So I'm happy with this comp selection so now I'm going to click on the report tab which is tab 3. Okay I'll see a summary of the information here. Just kind of give it the once over make sure everything looks good. If you want to modify your comp selection you can go back to the previous screen by clicking on this bottom left button. If you're happy with what you have then you can click here to email the report. The report is processing and we have successfully processed that report. You'll close this and it will navigate you automatically back to the previous screen, your property value screen. I'm going to navigate over to my email inbox and I see that I already have an email from propertytax.io support and this is my valuation report the first page is just describes a little bit about the report. The first uh, analysis that you'll see is the market value analysis. This is a comp grid. The left column is the subject property. Then you'll see comp 1, comp 2, and comp 3. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this so we can see a little bit closer. Okay. And you'll see how the comps compare to the subject property and where there are differences between the subject property. We make adjustments for that. So the first thing you'll see is the building quality. These are all building class 15s, so there's no adjustment needed for that. Then you see the living square feet. The subject is 1,500 square feet. This comp is larger. Comp 1 is larger than the subject property, so we're going to do a minus adjustment there. This property is very similar in size to the subject property, so there's a smaller, uh, there's a smaller reduction there. This property is a little bit larger, so you see a larger reduction there the depreciation, at, they're all at 50% so there's no adjustment needed for that. I see that the subject property does not have a, an attached garage whereas Comp 1 does have a two car attached garage so I do a minus adjustment for that. Also take note of this other features line item and you'll see Note 1 is referenced here and that there's $20,560 in value there. Let's navigate down to the notes section so that we can find out what that is. So I see that because comp that the subject property, excuse me, the subject property did not have an attached garage, but it does have a 
two-car detached garage that's valued at $5,500. And it also has a room addition on it, which is valued at $15,000, uh, roughly $15,000. So that's where we're getting that that 20000 figure from. Comp 1 does not have any additional features on it, so we are doing an adjustment to reflect that. You'll see the land value adjustments across the board here. They all have the same land value, so no adjustment for that. And finally, you'll see the adjusted sales price on the bottom row and what they adjust to. Our market value analysis averages the three comparable properties, and that's where we get our indicated value for that from. Now you'll see the equal and uniform page that follows the market value page. Right off the bat you'll see that we are using a median value instead of an average value for equal and uniform. And you'll see very similar to the market value analysis the comparison to the comparable properties and adjustments that are made. Uh, for instance you'll see that comp 1 has a 45 percent depreciation whereas the subject has 50 percent so we are doing a minus adjustment for that. Comp 3 has a 60 percent so we're doing a positive adjustment there. And you'll see that we use seven comparable properties to give a minimum adjusted value and a maximum adjusted value. So you see comp 6 there and finally comp 7. The last page is that notes section that we've already looked at where we found out about the detached garage and room addition for the subject property. So if I were going to submit my evidence to the appraisal district I would really only take this market value page and submit that because that's the evidence that will help me. It's credible information. It's done in a scientific way of how you got to that value. And it will um, help you maximize your chances for a reduction because we're not just getting a number that we're pulling out of thin air. There's a, there's a proven method behind where we get to that number and there's good credible evidence behind that number, which is really what we're about. It's providing the public with credible evidence to help them maximize their chances in a property tax appeal. Thank you for your time, and I hope that you found this video informative and our app is useful for you. Thank you.